Hello guys, welcome back to the channel AIM Garden. Okay guys, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to take y'all on a little journey. We're going to go tour the garden. I know I haven't took y'all on a tour of the garden this year, so that's what we're going to do this today. We're going to tour the garden. See what all I got planted, where all I going to get planted, and what is to come. So alright y'all, let's get to it. Let's go to the garden. Okay, guys, this is another jalapeno pepper plant. Let me see if I can get in there and show y'all the jalapenos, jalapenos that's growing in there. I don't know if y'all can see it. But this is another jalapeno pepper plant. Hey, guys, I just want to give y'all a tour of the garden. And as y'all see, these are my okra plants. I got them next to my utility house. They grow very well. As you see, I just cleaned this bed out. I just cleaned this bed out. We got some sunflowers. This is the sunflowers. And we got one out on the end. In this open space, I just put more seeds in for more okra. So that is our okra, y'all. I'm going to take y'all around the garden and give y'all a, a tour of the garden and what all we growing. Okay, guys, this is our lemon tree. As you see, I do got it in a container because I don't want it to grow way out and get too big. And I started this lemon tree off from seeds. I bought a lemon from the store. I took the seeds out. I peeled the seeds. You have to peel the seeds and then get it to its naked root. And then you plant it and you get this lemon tree. We know lemon trees take a while to grow, so... We might see a lemon maybe in two or three years, but this is our lemon tree. And these are our field peas. As you see, let me show y'all, we are getting field peas on here. And you see, there's tentacles on them. These are our field peas. And we got a whole bed of field peas, y'all. Looking very nice. Field peas. We got our sweet potatoes over here. Them are our sweet potatoes. And these are our cucumbers. This is a tomato plant. I planted in, I think it was in December. We already plucked all the potato, let me say all the um, tomatoes off of it. So we're going to be taking that tree out and planting something else there. And these are another cucumber plant. I put two cu cucumber plants because I got a long trellis, so we want the cucumbers to run up the trellis. See, so y'all see it's starting to flower. Our cucumbers starting to flower, so as y'all see, coming along. I forgot to show y'all the flowers on the field, please. These are the flowers, y'all. Nice, light-looking flowers. This is how you know your peas going to get ready to come out. And you see these flowers. So, as you see, we got flowers everywhere. So, our peas going to come out, and this going to be a nice house of peas. At least we can have what during the winter. So, mostly I cook my peas during the winter when it's cold. And I made like gumbo. I put all type of um, stuff in it. So, and when the winter get cold, we have some hot nice like a soup peas. All right, y'all. Let me go to the next one. Okay, guys. These are our Swiss chard. And y'all see, this is my neighbor plant. So I let this grow over the Swiss chard. Because Swiss chard don't really like to be too hot. So I let this grow. I cut everything else back. But I let this grow over a little bit. To keep the Swiss chard kind of cool. As y'all see, this is our Swiss chard. And you see the different colors. We got yellow. We got the um, the purple. And then we also got the green, which is in the front. I have to show y'all that one. So mostly I eat the more green. But I do eat the yellow and the purple also. I love them in salad. They got a lot of vitamins in it. And they're very tasty in salads. All right, y'all. Let me take y'all to the next one. This is our Egyptian spinach. Egyptian spinach, y'all. 
And what happened, you see why I got so many spaces in there? Something got in there and digged up some of the spinach. But I'm going to um, put more seeds in to grow more spinach because I love spinach in my salads also. So as you can see, this is uh, Egyptian spinach. And we got another sunflower right here. Another sunflower, y'all. Okay, y'all, let me take y'all to the next one. These are our cherry tomatoes. As y'all see, we got a trellis where the cherry tomatoes will be going up. These are our cherry tomatoes. And we should have tomatoes as they start to flower. It don't take long for these. I planted these about two weeks ago. And look how much growth they done got on. These are our cherry tomatoes. So they looking very nice. I do got some on the other side of the fence also. They are already getting tomatoes, so I will show you that. Okay, guys, these are our eggplants. Our eggplants, they looking very nice. I've been eating off of this plant since last year, y'all. I promise you, I tell you no lie. I've been eating off this plant since last year. And they steady producing, producing, producing. That's why I like them. And they very tasty. All right, y'all, let's go on to the next one. Okay, guys, this is our tree collards. These are tree collards, and I've been eating off of these since last year also. Yeah, as you see, you can see the stalk where I've been picking them. Looking very nice, and they taste real good. They taste better than the southern collards. I love tree collards. Love them. And these are some more okra. As y'all see, look at that okra. See that okra? Nice okra. We'll be taking them off because we don't want them to get too big. They get too big, they get woody. And we'll not be able to eat them when they're woody. So they are very, that one need to come off. And then we got more Egyptian spinach. Egyptian spinach. And this is a tree collar too. I just picked some two days ago. As y'all see, they look very nice. These tree collars, I guarantee you, if you cook them right, they taste better than southern collars, y'all. Better. So let me take y'all on to let you see y'all see the rest of the um yard. Okay, guys, this is another section of the yard where I got more eggplants. As y'all see the eggplant coming out. And we got two more trees over here too. The flowers are starting to bloom. Let me show you how the flowers. See the flowers starting to bloom. So we see we get more eggplants. And these trees, I don't know. They just last and last. Because I didn't see none of them die back yet. But they keep producing. They keep producing. We're going to keep eating. All right, y'all. Okay, guys. These are our, I think these are bell pepper plants. Bell pepper plants. And we got, that's a jalapeno plant there. These are our pepper plants. And we, and what I did with my pepper plants this year, I grew all my pepper plants almost in the front, y'all. So that give you a lot of space where you can keep growing in the back. So your pepper plants do take up a lot of space. So you always got to um, map out how you're going to grow them. How you going to grow them. We got some more okra. But these okras ain't been producing that much. So... I got to find out what's going on with them because the other okras I got in the ground, but these I put in containers. But I'm going to find out what's going on with them. Is it better to plant in the ground or is it better to plant in containers? But I got a couple okras off of it, but it ain't been producing, producing, producing. But the other plants been producing big okras. So I'll come back with you and I'll let you know. I will do a video on okras in the ground or okras in containers. All right, y'all. Okay, guys, I just finished cleaning this bed out. These are going to be, I'm going to put some behind these tree collards. And um, as you see, I got a lot of space back there. So I just finished cleaning this bed out. I got some stuff that's in the front that will be coming back here to go in this bed. All right, y'all.
Okay, guys, these are some more pepper plants that I grew. This is um, a, a jalapeno pepper plant in a grow bag. And these in the containers are uh, uh, um, chili peppers. They're looking very nice. As y'all see, these are chili peppers. As y'all see, they are some of them are turning red already. And just in the middle right here, these are some California peppers. As y'all see, these are all of the chili peppers. Look how many chili peppers on this one. I grow them in five gallon buckets because they get more growth if you put them in bigger containers. I do have some in the ground, but I try to do them in buckets also to take up less space. So as y'all see, these are some more of the pepper plants. These are bell pepper plants. These are my bell pepper plants. And I will be giving y'all an update on these when the bell pepper starts to bloom. These are the bell pepper plants. Got another chili pepper plant right here. And these are my cherry tomatoes, which I'm letting it trail off the fence. So as they get bigger, you will see the tomatoes also get bigger. These are our cow peas, known as black eyed peas. These are our cow peas, y'all. Known as black eyed peas. Like I said, we got a lot of things growing in the garden. So, you know, I just got a backyard, so I try to make the most of my backyard as a garden. I don't have a lot of land, but, you know, whatever God give me, that's what I'm going to use. So I wanted to show y'all the cherry tomatoes. You see the cherry tomatoes? Once you start flowering, uh, you give it a little fertilizer, and then you start getting the tomatoes, y'all. Start getting the tomatoes. So basically, I just use my yard for the things I want to grow that I can grow in my zone. Okay, I just did these a week ago. These are peanuts. Y'all see that? These are my peanuts. They looking very healthy. We're going to give them a little boost, a little nitrogen in them. And then we're going to have some peanuts. Okay, these are some more cherry tomato plants. I do grow my, cherry, my tomato plants in these. But when I grow my beet tomatoes, remember I beet tomatoes down here in South Florida. You can't grow them. You got to wait till November to grow them because it'll be too hot. And they are never produce any tomatoes, y'all. So that's why I'm growing cherry tomatoes. Sometimes I grow Everglades tomatoes also. But this year I'm growing um, cherry tomatoes. So they are producing. And I grew cherry tomatoes last year because they produced a lot. So I said, let me grow them again during the hot season. You can grow those type of tomatoes during the hot, se hot season. And you can get a lot of produ product out of them. That's what it is, y'all. Okay, y'all. This is my Italian raw regular. And I'm getting ready to take some of this up. We're going to put it in the oven, let it dry out. And then we're going to have some Italian regular. These are my rosemary bushes. And I've been growing this rosemary for like four years now. It never die back. And then always producing more and more and more. These are my oregano, my oregano and my rosemary. Okay, y'all. As y'all see, we got more Italian oregano. And these are my basil. And I've been growing these for a while. As you see, they starting to die back a little bit because of the heat. But this is our, our basil, oregano rosemary and we had some time but it died off it it got too hot it started flowering and that's how it dies out but we try to grow all this stuff during the winter season 
so you can get a lot of production out of it, y'all. So, as y'all see, this is my herb garden right here. So, I'm going to take y'all to the front because I got a lot of pepper plants in the front. So, let me take y'all to the front. Okay, y'all. This is another chili pepper plant that I'm growing in containers. And these are habanero peppers. Which you got another bush on the other side. I will show y'all that one. And this is another chili pepper plant. And you see my um, self drip. This is my self drip system right here. Where I just make um, self drip systems out of water bottles, uh, soda bottles, whatever I have. And that's my self drip system. Right here. Okay, y'all. I just wanted to let y'all know I'm in the front yard now. So this is another chili pepper plant. And these flowers, I've been growing for like two years now. And they just keep producing. They never die back. It's a good thing. I bought these from Walmart. I bought them as little flowers. Don't go buy them as big flowers. You're going to pay a lot of money as big flowers. Just buy them as little flowers and just plant them. And they will produce. I think the little flowers like $4. If you buy them as big flowers, they like $15. So you're always trying to save a little money. So what I did with these, you see, I just planted these two flowers that I got from Walmart. And what I did, I paid $14 for it. I paid $14 for this one. But what I did, they had three bushes in there. So as you see, this is one. This is two, and we got one down here on the side of the car. That's three. So instead of me paying five dollars, I got three big bushes out of that one container, which equal about the same amount anyway. So you get three bushes out of one plant. So as y'all see, this is a marigold flower. I'm gonna show y'all the marigold when I get on the other side. We do have marigold. And this tomato plant, I don't know how this tomato plant got here. But I guess it's one of those that sprung up. So, I'm going to let it grow. I'm going to trellis it with a piece of wood. And we'll see what it, what it do. So as y'all see, this is the backyard garden. This is the back and this is the front. So, let me finish giving y'all a tour of the front. So as you see, this is this is another tomato plant. This is another tomato plant. And this is a marigold. So I don't know. I'm going to have to just trellis these tomato plants. I don't know how they got here. I'm going to trellis them anyway. I'm not going to pull them up. I'm going to just let them grow. Yep, that's what I'm going to do, y'all. And as you see, this is another herb plant right here. This is a jalapeno plant. I did plant jalapenos, but these plants just they grow so slow. Like the chili pepper plants, they spring up. They spring up. And this is another jalapeno plant. And these are jalapeno plants. This jalapeno, as y'all see, this is the front of the yard. And I use up much of space as I can in my yard. So that's why I, I try to do a lot of gardening. But I got a lot of space in the back also. And we getting ready to um, fence this in so we can grow more and more so without disturbing the neighbors. So only reason I don't grow too much because... You know, you got neighbors, and you don't want them to be saying anything to you. So, but once I get it fixed in, we're going to be growing like crazy. Okay, guys, I'm on the other side of the house now. As you see, these are my other flowers. These are some more chili pepper plants, jalapeno pepper plant. <laughs> and you see all these chili peppers on this plant here? Bunch of chili peppers. This is a lemon tree. 
This is the lemon tree I put in. Remember what I told you about the lemon tree. You can buy a regular lemon from the store, take the seeds out, and then you can um, plant those seeds right into your container, and you will have these same trees. The same trees you buy from the Home Depot or Lowe's for $50, $60, you can grow them yourself for free. For free, y'all. This is another jalapeno pepper plant. We got another chili pepper plant. And remember, I tell you, I make my own self-water drip system. So it worked out good because sometimes you don't have to water for two or three days. If you know how to use this system right, you don't have to water for two or three days, y'all. And it's very nice. I like it. Okay, guys, this is the other habanero pepper plant I was telling y'all about. Y'all see them? See all the peppers in there? And this is a good plant. I use this plant in my conk salads and in my conk fritters. And I also, I use them in like a vinegar. And I make pepper sauce out of it. And this is another marigold plant. Okay, guys, this is another marigold plant. And I didn't know these plants get this big, y'all. I didn't know. As you see, you can see they're going to start blooming soon. These, one died back. I don't know why I died back, but one died back. But you see the top of them? That's how you know they're going to bloom. Look at this one. You see how pretty they is? These are marigolds. Every time I used to watch YouTube, I used to watch um, people grow marigolds. I never seen they plants this big. I never seen they plants this big. I don't know if I got another kind of breed of plant, but they are humongous. I never knew that they would get this big, y'all. And this is another jalapeno pepper plant. And this is a basil plant right here, y'all. Okay, y'all. Y'all see all this space I got on this side of the house? We're going to fence this in. So all this space right here is going to turn into the garden. And I'm just waiting, y'all. Waiting to get our fence put in. And we're going to have so much space to just plant, 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 plant. I, I had some trees here. And I pulled them up. So I want to just get some more um, flowers in there. But I'm going to have this whole space to just plant, 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 whatever I want, y'all. And this is the front yard. This is the front yard. So, as I keep going along this journey, y'all keep coming with me. We're going to learn together. We're going to grow together. And that's just what God intended for us to do. Learn from each other. Grow with each other always be one with each other okay y'all this is going to be the end of the video make sure y'all like comment and subscribe if y'all have any comment leave me some comments tell me what you think tell me what you think about my yard or what kind of stuff i could you think i could put in here the empty spaces because we're going to have a lot of space to grow y'all a lot of spaces to grow all right, y'all, this is ALM Gardening. I will talk to y'all later.